This knot right here is the slippery sheep end. And today, on Snowwalker Bushcraft, we're going to learn how to tie this. What's really nice about this knot is very simply, once you pull this, it just falls away. Don't go away. Hey guys, Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft. You remember how we tied the sheep end, right? We used that to join two pieces of cordage together. It works best when we're using two different sizes of cordage. We may be attaching a smaller one to a larger one. We may need to pull something. Or we just may want to tie up another ridge line and maybe we ran out of cordage so we can tie another length to it and thereby we can make it longer. The problem with that is unless you have like a marlin spike, if you really wrench down on it, it's going to be tough to get that knot out. That's why we're going to tie the slippery sheep end. Right. Historically, the sheep end was also used to tie sails, so they tie them to the rigging and the masts and everything else. So let's take a look at how we're going to tie the slippery sheep end today. To tie this, we're going to start with our loop. We come up through that loop. We're going to go around the other side. Now, we're going to create a bite. We go right underneath that rope. Okay, and now we pull the two ends, just like that, and there it is. Alright, best part of this is, we pull this out, and we're done. Slippery sheet bend. So that's the slippery sheet bend. Again, lots of different applications. Most of the time we can use it to join two sections of rope if we need to extend the ridge line or guidelines, tarp lines, whatever. You can use it for your tarps as well if you don't have the grommets or the, the, uh, the tie-out points on your tarps. Very simple, you can use that. So, the wind is kicking up. We're gonna call it a day. This is Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft. Thank you for your views and your comments. Until the next gust of wind, get your dirt on.